So yeah, within the, within the last six months, uh, dropped 50 pounds. Within the last, uh, well, basically just over the last month, I've dropped almost 30 pounds. Hey everyone, um, it's been a while. I think it's been about two weeks since I last filmed. Um, it was getting kind of busy in here and just, you know, un uncomfortable, uh, self-conscious, all that shit with, uh, with filming with a lot of people in here, but it's, it seems like it's starting to go back to normal already. <laughs> We're barely into the new year and it's right back to normal, but I took a couple days off over Christmas. Nothing crazy, I think I just missed like maybe two sessions, I think. Didn't eat terribly. Uh, you know, I had mashed potatoes as one meal, which is kind of nice. I think I had a bun or, yeah, I had a bun as well, like a dinner roll. Had a couple brownies at another event, but other than that, you know, pretty much kept on my diet. Still tracking everything, making sure I'm eating properly. The only thing I didn't really do was take care of my beard. So hopefully by the next time you see me, I'll have got around to get my beard cut and getting a bit of a haircut. Hope everybody else's Christmas and New Year's is pretty good. I, like I say, I've been, still been coming in. Uh, I I don't know how many, how many sessions I've missed recording at this point. Um, it's been a few though. I think probably like eight, something like that. Um, one update for sure is uh, I really got taken a look at that ChatGPT um, program that I had made. Um, just because it, it was starting to feel a little unbalanced. Like I said, I was going three days a week, but two of the days were basically the same leg day. And then the, the Wednesday was like all upper body. Um, and it just felt like I wasn't really, my upper body was just feeling like it was falling apart. It was getting soft and everything. So I went back through everything, really took a look at, her, at stuff. And also at the same time, um, I've been like feeling the urge to be here more often. Um, I've been finding like some nights I'm kind of just sitting at home thinking like, oh, I kind of want to go to the gym, I kind of want to go work out, which is a nice feeling. Because uh, there's definitely times where it's like, fuck, I don't want to go. But um, I've been finding lately that there's like a craving to come and it's like something I'm kind of missing. So, uh, that being said, what I did was I reworked a whole new program, um, which is kind of crazy. It's like now the third program that I'm on and this is only week seven of being back into the gym. So I did like, two weeks of the uh, chat GPT program. I did like three weeks of my foundations because I lost a few days when I got that exertion headache and then uh, a couple days from uh, over Christmas and New Year's. It's kind of funny that I'm already on my third different program, but you know, it's fine. It's, uh, I think this is the one I'm gonna stick with for a while. So I'm doing more of a, like, a, like a, more of a proper four day split. After dinner last night, I, uh, I was like sitting on the couch, kind of just like chilling, getting ready to go, drank my pre-workout. I was feeling a little chilly and uh, I threw a blanket on me. Next thing you know, I woke up about three and a half hours later and um, yeah, uh, kind of just missed my window to go to the gym. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna, just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed and get some sleep and I'll make sure that I go do it today. So here I am, almost forgot. So. I'm gonna do another video on this uh, probably this week, so you'll probably see it. In the, you'll probably see this see this in the next week or two. But um, Wednesday of last week, I officially officially broke 400 pounds, which was sweet. Um, when I started coming back to the gym in late November, I can I started coming back just after my 40th birthday. Um, I was 423 pounds. Uh, the day that uh, the day that I started going to the gym. Um, as of today, or last Wednesday, it was 396 point something. Today I'm 397. Uh, got a little crazy with uh, some sushi and some soy sauce over the weekend for a cheat meal and put in a shit ton of water from it. But yeah, got her back under, under control though. Um, yeah, so right now I'm under 400 pounds, which is fucking awesome feeling. I haven't been under 400 pounds in over a year. Um, like I say, at one point I'm positive. I got up to about 450. Um, I know the highest weight that I actually recorded was 425, but I know I know it was way bigger than that at one point. So, um, 
So yeah, within like within the last six months, uh, dropped 50 pounds. Within the last, uh, well, basically just over the last month, I've dropped almost 30 pounds. Happy with that. Super happy with that. Obviously, to be down that much weight that quick. So I've set a few goals to go ahead. Um, I had set one goal. And JD, he's he's like, that's great that you made that goal. But how about you break it down to a smaller, smaller, more attainable goals? So um, the plan right now, the goal right now is by April 2nd of 23, I'm gonna be, I'm, the plan is to be at least 375. In July, uh, to be 350. October, to be 325. Early February next year, 300. By the time I get to my 42nd birthday, the goal is to be uh, 250, 225, somewhere in there. If I get down like 250, 240 or something, and like I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I've got a big frame as it is. So uh, if I get down like 250, 240 in that realm, and if I've put on enough muscle mass and I'm really happy with my body fat percentage and blood pressure and all that shit, like if I get to like 240 and like I'm really happy with how I look, then uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna push it, but who knows? Maybe when I get there, I'm like, fuck, you know what? I just for once in my adult life wanna see what the scale looks at 199. I know that'll be a hell of a battle to get down that low, um, but it's not like this whole gym thing and fitness and eating properly is like a short term thing. Uh, this is, you know, the, I'm trying to make this my norm for the rest of my life. And, you know, um, ideally I'll be able to do this for a very long time. That's, uh, that's the good news. Makes me feel kind of happy. It's nice to, like I said, before, you know, I was feeling changes in the way clothes were fitting. I'm seeing, like, when I'm watching footage back, I'm obviously seeing little changes to my body composition. Um, but to see that on the scale and to see that, to see that first kind of uh, milestone finally, finally met, um, I'm really happy. Getting under 400 was, like, I really had that in my head that I, I, needed, I wanted to get that done. I wanted to get it done by the end of the year, uh, so I was off by a few days, but um, was it, you know, uh, a couple days isn't that bad. I think I think it was like, it was like January 3rd or something or some of that. January 3rd or January 2nd when I weighed in at 396. So I was close, I was close to the end of the year, but you know, whatever. But that's why we set goals, right? We set goals and we work as fucking hard as we can to get to them and uh, even if we don't meet the goal, at least we put in the effort, put in the work, honestly, to uh, to do our best to get there. That's what really matters. Like this is all part of, like all of this is just about about showing up and putting in the work. So results will results will come. It's just a matter of putting in the work. program that I'm doing, I'm gonna see how it works. I'm gonna go for a little while I'm doing it this way, but uh, just reading a bunch of stuff and plus, you know, um, researching, looking at different fitness people say about shit. Um, I'm trying two sets of 20 as opposed to three sets of like 12. Um, I'm going to like, like, basically failure. Uh, like, I think there's, what's the term, like, um, like our, there's something about how many reps you got left in the tank, but it's either like almost failure, I got maybe one rep left um, on the first set, and then second set, like I'm, I'm at failure. So um, that's how I'm doing it for now. Gonna see how it goes for a little while, you know, give it like four weeks, see if I'm noticing you know, are things lacking? Is it is it are things happening as fast as I'd like it to? Am I recovering? You know, all that stuff. But uh, so far, I've been doing this for a week now, almost two weeks now, um, and I'm liking it. I find that I'm getting through the exercise or like the whole session even quicker too, instead of taking like the three breaks or the two breaks, I'm only taking one break. Um, and definitely not filming speed shit up too. Uh, I'm not sitting here rambling in between sets. 
you know, I do my two to three minutes, depending on what it is, and then get back to work. So I want to keep up that pace, so I'm not going to talk long um, on the next one. Okay, so the last tricep exercise for the night is tricep extensions. Um, something that I just recently learned is a nice little trick to get better extension on the extension is to use two ropes. So that allows you to get your elbows further behind your body, which allows to get more of a stretch on the muscle, which apparently, apparently according to some studies, uh, it uh, gets more activation of the muscle because it's in a stretched state. But uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe it's bull crap and maybe it's not. But uh, like I say, as long as you feel the pump, I think that's what matters. Maybe that's placebo too, but whatever, man. really warm over there tonight for some reason. Feels like there's some cool air over here. I'm, I'm overheating. Um, I, being so big, I run crazy hot. Like in my house, um, I don't, <laughs> I, I could probably go the whole winter without turning on the furnace. Um, like right now my furnace is set to 68 degrees, which I think is like, what's that? 19, 19 or 20, I think. Um, if the house gets like 25, I'm cooked. I I can't function too hot. Um, so yeah, a, a few degrees, a few degrees of heat for me, it's it's game over. So I had to I had to move. Um, I just I couldn't deal with the heat anymore, so I came over here. Uh, yeah, so triceps are done. Uh, they're feeling pretty toasty right now. Now it's on to the biceps. Technically, this exercise is supposed to be concentration curl, but with my gut, I can't get my arm down between my legs properly to do that. So, I'm just gonna do a standing preacher. Luckily enough, this is just happens to be here, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do individual preachers. Um, Cause yeah, there's, there's no way I'm gonna get a concentration curl. It's just not gonna happen. With each of these exercises, um, I'm, I'm basically trying to isolate each of the muscles of the bicep. So, both the long, the short, and the uh, break your break the break. Fuck, I can't even speak right now. Um, the three muscles that are part of the bicep. Uh, I'm trying to hit all three of them. I'm trying to isolate them as much as possible. So um, that's why instead of doing a traditional preacher curl, I kind of did more of a concentration. I came around the side because um, that's supposed. To, I forget which one it is off, off the top of my head, but. That's supposed to isolate one. Uh, the next one I'm gonna do is supposed to isolate one of the other ones, and then the last one is supposed to isolate one of the other ones. But we'll see. Um, just to make the, the bicep more fuller, you know? Same thing with like doing the shoulders, trying to get the rear delt, the anterior. That might be it. <laughs> I can't use words. I can't use smart words when I'm at the gym. I become stupid. Um, I'm not. The, I don't know. I'm not usually this dumb though. But for some reason when I get in here, maybe it's tired. Maybe it's just like all my focus is on, on what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, I get, my brain turns to mushroom here and I can't speak properly. I find myself, when I'm editing, I'm like, what, what were you saying? Why did you say that? That's not what that's called. Like you'll see the last one. I called the bench a machine. And I call dumbbells barbells. 
Yep, I did that. When I worked out in the past, definitely like in high school, definitely like a number of years afterwards. Probably really, only, you know, let's just say not until now, not until now that I've started coming to this gym, that I've started paying more attention just to more like pay more attention to bodybuilding and stuff like that and, and actually how the exercises work and stuff. Never really got a pump before. Never understood that. Never really understood the term of the pump um, for all these years, as much as I've worked out, which tells me I never really worked out hard enough. Um, but then that's just a combination of a lot of things. Like I said, like never sleeping properly, was never recovered, da, 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 all that shit just, you know, it, it, everything's all connected. So I never had like the proper energy in the first place to get a really good workout in for all those years. Um, it's only, it's only now that, you know, I'm, I'm getting the sleep that I need. All the other things I'm like paying attention to in my body, you know, my body is getting more of what it needs now. So now when I go to the gym, I'm actually able to get pretty freaking good exercise out of it. And finally, I'm starting to get a pump. And I get it. I get why guys chase it, man. It's, a, it's an intense feeling. It's a good feeling. It's like, it's like that reward. Reward for the fucking grind you just put in. It's nice. I like it. God, fuck. That's it for today, man. That's uh, that's this week in the fucking bag. Oh, my arms, my arms. I have to put my arms on because they're shaking right now. Um, I will check y'all later. Um, like I said, we're gonna have a video in the next week or so that's uh, talking more about weight at the moment and other little things that are going on. It won't be a, won't be a gym based uh, video, it'll be something I'm gonna shoot at home. So that'll be coming soon. And then, of course, you know, keep shooting this stuff, keep seeing the changes that occur. And, uh, you know, we keep this up. Fingers crossed that we don't run any more roadblocks again i'm gonna get into all that stuff what i'm doing to uh that's what i'm gonna get into all the stuff that i'm doing that i'm tracking and you know it's changing um gonna get into all this shit in this in the next one of the next videos that comes up um just so you guys can see what i'm doing how, how i'm managing what i'm doing and uh the, all the little tweaks and changes i've done with my life to to aid in this anyway I gotta get out of here. It's late, I'm tired, I'm hungry, thirsty, all that stuff. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, share, put the bell, all that stuff. Um, the more you guys interact with me, the better it's the algorithm, the more people that can see this stuff and you know, hopefully this will go out to more and more people who are like me. Basically that's what it is. I, I'm doing this to help people like me to show you like we can fucking do this um yeah anyway peace see you guys later <laughs>